Hi, it's Jan from Janta's Reviews, and today we're going to unbox the box by Fashion Style for April. Um, I got this in the mail yesterday, and this box is $24.99 a month. You do pay $3 in shipping and handling, and sales tax is included. You generally get six items, but occasionally you get seven and more if there's like a brush set. Um, one month we did get a three-piece brush set and um, they were three individual brushes. So, you know, it came up to, um, I think there were a total of eight items that month. So, um, let's get into it. Sorry, I've got natural lighting going to the sides here where the windows are. So, it's a fairly sunny day, but the clouds may mess with the lighting a bit. Okay. <clears throat> this month, the theme is Bloom. Um, bloom Out of the Ordinary. There we go. And then we've got six items with a brief description and pricing. And our box total, I never noticed until last month that it's printed here down at the bottom, so I don't have to add it all up. That's kind of nice. Okay. I took the little paper crinklies out yesterday when I got it. Uh, so, yeah. There you go. That's what everything looks like when you get it. And just go for this one. <clears throat> now, I was... When I saw the spoilers, I was initially a little excited about this, but the one that I got doesn't thrill me that much. So, you'll, you'll understand in a moment. Okay, this is Ready, Set, Jet Beauty Baton. And there were three options. Um, the one I got was in the Cleanse and Prime. Anti-pollution, waterless cleanser, and blurring primer. Yeah. Mm. Don't know about this. Does it say anything else on here? One stick, multiple benefits. The on-the-go multitasking stick has no rules with interchangeable ends for a customizable experience. Vegan and cruelty-free. So, focused and fabulous. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's, um, sorry. Cat's laying in front of the window. She's having a coughing fit that just won't stop. Uh, there we go. Ready, set, jet. Beauty baton. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't take both the end caps off because that's the only place that says what each thing is. And um, I'm not sure that I would remember. Okay, the cleanser is clear, which is why I would have a hard time with it. And then the blurring primer is a pinkish lavender color. Are we done, Patches? So, like I said, not my most favorite. There was a... Um, bronzing and highlighting and a blush and highlighting and I would have preferred to have gotten either one of those but you know I'll, I'll get some use out of it it's a waterless cleanser you you basically put it on it melts your makeup and then you just wipe it off with the damp cloth so you know it's basically your beauty balms that come in the um the tubs that you know, they take off your makeup. So, it's okay. Not my favorite, but it's okay. Hopefully the primer works well and it actually does um, blur the pores and, and the fine lines is mainly what I'm looking for. Okay, next up. Something else that I'm not going to use. This is by Soleil and it is the Miracle Protector Spray. As y'all know, 
I don't do much with this hair. This is about as fancy as I get with a clip. Um, yeah, it's just, it's straight. That's what my natural hair does. So, yeah, I haven't brushed it today. I just threw it up in a clip. It's looking kind of wild and unruly there, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't, I rarely even blow dry my hair, so neither does my daughter. We both air dry our hair most of the time and don't do anything with it past that. So, um, I mean, it'll come in handy when we do want to do something with our hair, but, you know, it's okay. Oh, I didn't give you prices. I'm sorry. The Ready, Set, Jet uh, Beauty Baton is valued at $32. And then the heat protecting spray is valued at $35. It is in a really nice, heavy, frosted glass bottle. Um, it feels nice. The cap doesn't stay on all that well. It was off in the box, but it doesn't look like anything leaked or sprayed or got damaged anyway. So, not a big deal. Um, next up, we have Julep. When Pencil Met Gel Long Lasting Eyeliner Crayon. And if you can put it on, you can pull it off. Brave Pretty. Okay. Okay. And this is valued at $12. The perfect mix of pencil meets gel in a fun pop of color to add some blooming style to your spring plus summer looks, vegan and cruelty free. And the Soleil protector spray is um, also cruelty free, but it's not vegan, so it must contain some kind of, well, does it, hmm. It's not vegan, so it's got to have some kind of animal byproduct in it. Don't know. Something to ponder lately. Later. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you what color I got this in. Um, this is in the color electric teal. That's what she looks like right there. Yeah, I don't think this is an automatic pencil. I think this is one that you have to sharpen because it doesn't seem to twist. So, weird. Okay, gel liner and a sharpenable pencil. That's what it looks like. Very bright. We'll give this a go today. Probably in my waterline. And then, do the big box. Okay, this is the Green Company. The reusable cotton rounds, reusable and washable, bamboo, fiber, and cotton velvet. Wash instructions, machine and hand washable, dryer friendly or air dry. That's what that looks like. And let's see, what does it say? These are valued at $13.95. And it says... Be a conscious consumer and reduce your daily waste by swapping your makeup remover wipes for these green, eco-friendly, washable, reusable pads. 100% natural and vegan. And they come with a little wash bag if you do want to put them in um, your washing machine and dryer. I already have a set that I bought off of Amazon, um, but... You know, I know I like these kinds of things, so it'll get used for sure. Um, this is what the actual rounds look like. They're the same size as the ones I bought off of Amazon. However, this does have, um, this side is velvety feeling, and then this one is a little scratchier, so it's um, a scrubber side. And these are white, whereas mine are black, and I chose that for, um, a specific reason. Um, the white ones are fine. There's nothing against them. They had that option on Amazon as well. But I like the black ones because uh, mascara tends to be rather 
black. <laughs> and um, I'll take it off, you know, with makeup remover first, and then I go in with micellar water, and that's usually when all my mascara finally comes off. So, yeah, these will get used. This is a set of 13 plus the bag, so made in China, and it says 100% cotton, so I presume that's the bag. And we've got the last two items. Let me pull them out of the box, and I'll get the box out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Lipstick and Liner Duo by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. There we go. And there's the back. And okay, this is valued at $25. It says richly pigmented matte lipstick plus coordinated lip liner formulated with nourishing ingredients such as sunflower seed oil and jojoba, cruelty free. I did tell you it was valued at $25, right? All right, let's open it. And it includes one matte lipstick and one lip liner. There's the, the side with all the info. And then there's um, your ingredient list for anyone that's into that. And here is the lipstick too. There's actual lipstick, very pretty. And then here is the lip liner. And this is also a sharpenable pencil, which is fine. I don't, I don't really have a preference, whether it's an automatic eyeliner or a pencil one. It just doesn't bother me at all. And then our last item is from Cleo Noir, and this is a four shade eyeshadow palette. It's valued at thirty-two dollars. $32 for four eyeshadows. This better be some amazing ass shit now. Pigmented blendable, full spectrum, creamy, rich formula that stays put without the mess of excess fallout. Hmm. Cruelty free. Uh, it's just black matte packaging. There's no names, nothing other than just Cleo Noir. Which is fine, you know. But you know me, I like to know shade names. Um, there's no mirror. There is a plastic protector, but again, no names. And there we go. Coco Noir, or Cleo Noir, excuse me, is stamped into that brown shade there. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, there's the shade, so we'll, we'll try that out. $32 for a quad, though. I'm just like, that's craziness. Okay, I'm going to step off of here. I'm going to clip my hair back up and get some stuff to do an eyeshadow look and grab a few other things, and then I will be right back, and we will do the try-on portion. Okay, got my arsenal of brushes to try and create and I look out of the two mattes and the two shimmers. What the plan is, is I'm going to put this paler cream shade all the way, you know, from the um, base of my eyelashes up to my um, eyebrows. Then I'm going to take this rose gold shade and put it 
on the inner portion of my um, the inner corner and then work it in just a tiny bit onto the lid then I'm going to go with the gold over the entire lid and then I'm going to darken up my outer corner and maybe just a little bit underneath with the brown so you'll have a clue what I'm doing um, then in the lower waterline I'm going to add the electric teal um, I'm going to top off my mascara with some Lancome Monsieur Big and then I'm going to align my lips and put on my matte lipstick from Bella Pierre. So that's the plan and I will speed through all this stuff because, you know, y'all don't care. <laughs> you just want to know what I think and I appreciate that. And I did forget to clip up my hair, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So, we're going to speed up starting in three, two, one, now. Final thoughts. Um, hmm. Looking at the mirror. Y'all gotta bear with me for a second here. Um, surprisingly, there was no fallout from the Cleo Noir palette. Now, do I wish that there was a more medium toned brown instead of one of these shimmer shades? Yes, but the glitter does not fall out. It actually sticks. It's very shimmery without huge glitter. So it's not bad. Um, the darker brown, as you all saw as I was applying it, it does have to be built up. Um, it's not super pigmented, but it's nice. And um, so is the cream shade. It's, you know, it's very, very nice. Um, if it had more of a mid-tone brown, you know, in between these two colors, I would actually prefer that instead of the gold shade. Um, but I like the champagne and I like the true gold. I mean, you know, either one works. So it's a good formula. Um, I've never heard of Cleo Noir. I'm going to guess that they're an indie brand. I don't really know. Um, but it's good. It's really good. Um, the I forgot. Julep. Yeah forgot who made this. Um, the Julep eyeliner, it's very, very creamy. It goes on quite easily. Uh, it builds up. Now, I can't testify to how long it's going to last in my waterline, but we'll see. I like it. The color is very, very bright. 
and it's a nice little um, contrast to pop of color. So, yeah, this is a win. Um, and then on the, let's see, yeah, that's right. The liner and the lipstick. Um, the liner is very, very dry. It does tug at the lips. Uh, I had absolutely nothing on, so it was dry lips. I didn't put chapstick, lip balm, anything on. Um, so, you know, it's a little dry, but it's for matte formula. However, I have other matte formulas that I like better than this one. So, this is just a, eh. And then the lipstick itself, um, it's very pale. I like the tone, the undertone of it. Um, it's just slightly pink, but it's too pale for me. And that's, that's pretty bad because I'm, you know, rocking a vampire glow. So this is probably a pass as well. So when we get down to the money, um, honestly, the only real wins I see out of this set are the uh, reusable makeup pads and the eyeliner. I can see myself using this again. Everything else is just kind of a no-go. Um, so that would be, what, $25.95? So, I mean, I got my money's worth out of the box, but... It wasn't overwhelming you know generally when you get a subscription box you want at least triple the value well not triple double triple the value is a really good box but this it was just so so almost hit but not quite there so you know i've had other boxes that i like better but this one wasn't bad, and it is very makeup heavy, which I, I appreciate that. They've been very skincare heavy so far. So that was a nice change. Um, the tones were just a little off for me. So, not going to complain about it. <laughs> Stay posted. I still have not got a shipping notification for the Boutique K Beauty box. So, who knows if I, it's even going to ship. Um... If any of you all know anything about that subscription box, maybe leave a comment below and, and let me know your experience with it. Um, things coming up. Uh, I will be doing, you know, a, did I actually use it? Um, and my April faves and fails. So that'll be coming soon. For swatches of everything, go to my Instagram account. I will have it all there. And you all stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye.